we do everything ourselves around here. And because of that, it only took us four and a half years to figure out the best battery inverter combination for our completely off-grid home. What you're about to see is a compilation of the last four and a half years and how we approached this and ultimately how we solved our problems with the best inverter battery combination, most affordable, I should say, that we could find. But first, let me show you where this all started four and a half years ago. 16 batteries. Um, I think they're right around 400 and change a piece, or depending on where you get them, I guess. But uh, this is uh, this is a big deal. Step in the right direction, to say the least. So now I get to unload them. This is what will go in that storage room that we're the we're utility, the utility room. room. We just got a special delivery from Ceneva solar panels. That's the number one reason right there that I went with Ceneva. I even went and talked with an old farmer that made his own solar panels out of patio doors along the way. So on the right side, those are the old. The glue came under. Uh huh. I can see that. Down. So is there any use for these at this point? We only thought that if I take them apart, make a greenhouse. Oh, well, there you go. That's a great idea. Um, this is a, an affordable. Uh, 11 kW generator welder. It's around the $3,000 mark. Um, it's a gasoline welder as well, but this is something that's a multi-use uh, generator. I can use it to, to weld up there on our ranch. We're gonna, there's gonna be many, many times where I'll need a remote welder, and this fits the bill. Uh, but, but at the same time, I can use this to, to power the house or charge the generator, charge the, uh, the battery bank, although I'll have to watch that battery bank really close. The worst thing that I could possibly do for that battery bank is let it get, it, get lower than uh, about 50%. So the day started out with me and Ruger running a couple hours down south to pick up some Unistrut, some welding rod, and some other materials that we found on uh, the internet for about half the price of what it would be retail. I was able to get most of the well casing here at the local scrap yard for about 20 cents a pound instead of paying the five or six dollars a foot that it would normally cost for full lengths of pipe. But now I've got to weld everything together. It probably would have been straighter, a little bit more true if I'd bought the full lengths, but that's not my style. Once this dirt gets wet and packed down, it is so hard. We have the beautiful topsoil for about the top 18 to 20 inches, but then below that, I'm not sure what it is, but it's very difficult to break through. After getting the upright post set and letting it sit for a while, it was now time to install the horizontal mount. Now again, without the excavator, this would be a lot more difficult. As much as I love my backhoe, my backhoe could not come up this hill. I welded the chain on the ends of the horizontal pipe to use as a tie to the ground. I'm measuring and marking the Unistrut at exactly five feet. I decided to add a little bit more bracing and beef it up just a little bit before building the second and third mounts. Because I had built the first solar panel already, I was able to pull measurements off of it. And the second and third definitely went faster. Mm -hmm. 
What we found along the way was in some cases, especially when it came to a ground mount solar panel system, they were very expensive and often overcomplicated. As I researched everything that I could, one of the biggest concerns was the anchor point in the ground, ensuring that the solar panels do not become a kite and fly away in heavy wind. In some cases, more than two yards of concrete were used to mount the ground mount systems in place, ensuring that they did not move. Because of the location of our ground mount system, wind is not a factor. Over the last few years since I installed them, we have had heavy winds, but because of the heavily treed hillside that we're on, the wind blows harder above the tree line than it does right here, with the solar panel ground mounts going anywhere. I even built three individual adjustable ground mount systems so I can change the angles from summer to winter, but, we get tired of shoveling the snow off them. So this summer we're gonna make some changes so we don't have to do this. Either it's going on the house or it's going about five feet up in the air. We haven't decided yet. Even our water is provided by the sun. So using the sun to our benefit has been something we've had to learn to do, but the end result is we've made it work. The technology around batteries, especially in an off-grid application, has changed dramatically over the last five years. AGM batteries and or lithium batteries were available, but they were quite a bit more expensive. So we went with the traditional lead acid batteries. And these are very good quality batteries. But the end result is they are high maintenance and regardless of how well they're maintained, they will never last as long as a lithium iron phosphate batteries that we now have will. The new all-in-one system that we have is called a Sanctuary Energy Storage System. You will see later in the video how much less space is needed for this new system and frankly how much better the new system looks. And by the way, the battery capacity is twice what we have now, and yet it still takes up less space. This giant battery box is gonna go away. We're excited about that. It should be a lot cleaner look. That's the other thing we're, we're looking forward to. But more than anything, it's basically double our capacity. That's the thing we're really looking forward to. Mm -hmm. No more dark days. No more dark days. <laughs> so, there we go. I'm gonna shut it down. Ready? Bada boom, bada bing. Here we go. Here we go. Sit 
We tried to let it go as long as we could to charge all the camera oh, batteries. I bet. I bet. But I'll have this ready to jerk out of here. Yeah, we'll help you. We'll help you haul it all out. I brought. I brought. There's four of us. We have. Yeah. What's up, buddy? We have two engineers with us today, so we really can't screw this up. Well. It was Thanksgiving Day a year ago when I first had a conversation with Brian from Lion Energy. At some point along the way, Brian had watched a few of our videos, and he recognized the battle that we were fighting with our batteries at that time, and he had a solution. The day we first spoke on the phone happened to be the same day that my son, Rhett, was coming out of surgery after breaking his leg from getting a little bit too crazy on the inner tube after a fresh 18 inches of snow. Brian and I have been friends since. But after getting our new and improved solar system installed, I can tell you Cedar no longer has a struggle with her blow dryer and curling iron. After I woke up and went downstairs this morning, she had a grin on her face from ear to ear and she informed me that she was happy. More, forward more, forward, forward. more. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Okay, you there? Yep. That got the bottom on. I think he's got both on. Yep, bingo. It's junk? I will put a link in the description below to the sanctuary energy storage system made by Lion Energy. But after getting the new system installed, it caused me to want to do a couple of things. First, it's so pretty, it makes me feel like I need to finish the drywall and the paint in the utility room. But number two, the white battery storage box is gone. We now have more room in here. Nice. These batteries are lithium iron phosphate batteries. There is no off gassing. They can be charged down lower than a lead acid battery can. A lead acid battery cannot hold a candle to a lithium iron phosphate battery. That's the truth. These batteries can carry up to a 25 year warranty on top of that. That is unheard of. In my opinion, Lion Energy has done the heavy lifting with solving all of the problems that typically come with a system like this. An incredible warranty, incredibly efficient, and a system that will be here for years and years to come. They made it easy on us. Okay, we have been using this new Lion Energy system since November, so we're gonna bring you up to date. By the way, any questions you might have uh, for Lion Energy, you can contact them directly at the link at the top of the description. But let, let us tell you kind of what we figured out over the last uh, few months. We just went through the two hardest months um, typically to be off grid because we had the least amount of sun over December and January. And last year we put about 250 hours on our generator. Uh, this year we've put probably less than 60 hours on our generator. Um, Again, the battery, the new battery bank is twice the capacity as our previous batteries. So we went from 
how many batteries originally? We had 16 originally batteries that weighed like 110 pounds each in this in this big white box in the utility room that took up half, half of the utility room. And even though it was vented and we had like a system with that, um, it still would give like an off gas every once in a while. And if it was a, if it was a, a good day of sun, if uh -huh. it was a, we would s smell that that gas and that stuff's potentially flammable. So, we, you know. Yeah, and then we found Lion Energy and then we got some a different set of batteries from them. 16 more batteries and that were 22 pounds a piece. Yeah, half, and half the size, they were itty bitty. Yeah. And, um, and then we found this system. And, but, and so the, the only issue we had was that the inverter, which um, our first inverter seemed to, there was some conflict between the batteries and the inverter. Because they were made from different companies. Yeah, two and separate companies. Separate than the batteries. Which is, which is constantly the issue that I found over the last five years. One company makes uh, inverters and charge controllers. One company makes batteries. One company makes solar panels. And, and to find a product where an inverter and a battery system are not only engineered to work together, but they've been tested before we, we get it, that was one of the most appealing things about this system. Um, before, before we'd even touched it, I got an email from uh, Brian saying, um, blow dryer works. <laughs> because he knew that with our, with our uh, other inverter, that that thing did not like blow dryers or curling irons. So. Which we all know, when we first, we first moved in here, I would have to use a, a generator outside the front, on the front porch, plugged into my blow dryer to come inside. And then we, and then we found a different box that would work in the bathroom. We where, had a step down inverter. It was the size of a large shoe box that sat on the counter. And but that, even that that was, would only work when the sun was out and the batteries were fully charged yeah but this one with this system i can plug in my blow dryer curling iron the electric skillet that's another big thing that we had an yes. issue with um any time of the day and they all work perfectly fine i'm sure that other inverter i'm sure they've resolved those problems but but the truth is um uh, again because Companies would, would say, companies that made inverters would say, our inverters will work with lead acid batteries, our inverters will work with lithium batteries, our inverters, inverters will work with uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. But when it came down to it, there was issues. And so again, to have, um, to have a system that, that is all in-house was, was huge to me. Um, and then I, I just, I swear, they over companies deliberately overcomplicate uh, this in industry where it seems like uh, Lion Energy has simplified things in such a way that a guy like me can handle it. So it's and also of like look wise, now there's just three taller batteries that they weigh about 300 pounds each. So it took a few guys to put them inside, but they fit flush against the wall and they're not very wide at all. And so it's like a sleek, classy look, and that's yeah, one of my favorite things about it. It's beautiful. It doesn't it, look like a battery, you know, off-grid weird battery system. Like it, it makes me want to finish the uh, utility room to make it look nice. <laughs> but, but the um, um, this even with sixteen batteries, every point of connection with those batteries is a potential uh, loss drop with with the the power. So having three three hundred pound batteries, obviously there's going to be less uh, loss. And so we we have not used the generator. Generator doesn't hardly run. Blow dryer works. What else? <laughs> the electric skillet. I said that was an issue. There skillet works. Like... Yeah, it's 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 all of a sudden it's no longer at the forefront of my brain. It used to be. I was always concerned that I might be somewhere uh, away from here, and Cedar would call saying we don't have power. So. But it's also like you said, customer service. Like I'm super comfortable enough to call them myself, and if. If you're not around, or that, that's you know, an issue for me. Yeah, customer service is huge. I I am more I am more interested in the idea that, especially in our situation, things typically go wrong mm -hmm. after five p.m. and so or on a weekend or right holiday. And <laughs> so we had issues uh, in past situations where we didn't have the support that we needed until eight a.m. Monday morning. Whereas with Lion Energy, it's just the opposite. Those guys, you know. Anyway, they, they've gone above and beyond to help us. And, and we've never done this before, obviously. And yeah. they're super patient and willing to work with us. And, and they're there if we need anything. Yeah. So anyway, the last thing I'll say is, again, go to the link, Lion Energy, uh, for any questions about this system. The, the link at the top of the description. 
And the, the final thing I guess I would say is we found that, so I, I had, we had a friend that's trying to build a, um, a grid tied system. And it's about 50% larger than, than this system. And the bid that he got when he told me what his bid was for his batteries, inverters, charge controllers, solar panels, ground mounts, all of that stuff, I can just tell you, we don't have a third of what his bid was. And, and so part of that starts with having a package like this uh, that I'm telling you, the, this for the next 15 plus years, I don't have to worry about batteries, even longer, frankly, if I, if I maintain them properly, as far as making sure they don't charge down too low. Um, yeah, and it, we're, it may be closer we're to 20. a family of six, and we're constantly using this. And so we even with that much room. use, they, they're going to last that long. That's what's awesome. Anyway, we hope uh, this helps you guys along the way.